understanding, to be in safe hands. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a very interesting English phrase, to be in safe hands. This expression is commonly used in both formal and informal settings, and understanding its meaning can really help you sound more fluent in English. Let's explore what it means, how to use it, and look at some examples. The phrase, to be in safe hands, is used to express that someone or something is being taken care of very well and is in a secure or trustworthy situation. It's often used to reassure someone that their concerns, possessions, or well-being are being managed by someone who is capable and reliable. Understanding how to use this phrase is key to incorporating it into your daily English. Here are some examples. In a professional setting, don't worry about the project, it's in safe hands with Maria leading the team. Regarding personal items, I left my phone with James, so it's in safe hands. When talking about care or protection, the children are in safe hands with their grandparents this weekend. These examples show how versatile the phrase is, applicable to various situations where safety, security, or reliability is emphasized. It's also useful to know some variations of this phrase, which carry a similar meaning. In good hands, this is slightly less formal and can be used in similar contexts to convey trust and reliability. Under someone's care, this variation explicitly mentions the aspect of care, suitable for discussing situations involving responsibility for a person or an object. Now that you understand what it means to be in safe hands, how to use it, and some of its variations, you can start incorporating this phrase into your own English conversations and writings. It's a great way to reassure someone or to express confidence in someone's abilities. We hope this video has been helpful and you feel more confident using to be in safe hands in your English communications. Happy learning and see you in the next video.